Yes, guys, it's the first snow of autumn of 2019. And I'm going to go to McDonald's real quick. Make sure I got the camera recording. Yes, I do. All right, so anyway, this is the weather. You can see it's snowing pretty good. We're going to get up to about... Uh, 30 centimeters by today and uh and then I think another 20 centimeters tomorrow so yeah there's gonna be a lot of snow coming out now near slip and die has become dangerous uh I guess in the snow fortunately enough it's fairly safe at this point you just have to Avoid slipping and dying on it. <laughs> uh, I was gonna go to McDonald's here to get some lunch, and uh, unfortunately, I don't really have a hood on my jacket. I have a hood on my other jacket, but it keeps coming off, and then it's like, uh, I wish it was kind of attached to my zipper or something. Eh, snow sticking to me. Doesn't surprise me at all. My fingers are freezing. Really, I have got the wrong jacket for the wrong weather. Uh, oh, oh well. It's uh, it's weather for you. Snowing. Uh, there's something on the pole here. I don't know what that is. Obviously, I'll see it when I get home. Just wanna just get to where I gotta go and uh, get my vlog in. I'm sure I can't do a vlog in pieces, right? Of course I can. So let's do that. And like my uh, iPhone. I don't have to necessarily totally stop vlogging and stuff, but we're at the point of the weather right now. It's snowing. You can see how fast it's coming down. It's it's coming down. My hair is full of it. Uh, I must have start snowing about one thirty. And, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, pretty profoundly deep, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so let's get some of the vlog in, anyway. Uh, I created a new character, a new priestess, in WoW Retail, named Bashara. I was going to usually keep a secret, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, and the difference is, she is a, she's going to be a holy priestess just like Bikel is. It's funny thing about the priest, priestesses, thing of me in, being in priest, priesthood, is most people don't realize that a couple years ago, when I was in my 20s, I wanted to be a priestess. But the Catholic Church does not have priestesses, so that means I couldn't be a priestess in my own parish, which would have sucked. But then again, of course, singing back now with my sight and my hearing, I probably be, wouldn't be such a good priestess. But Pope Francis is considering. A female priesthood in the future. Right now, we're already concerning female deacons and the deaconate. So, if that's the case, that'll be really interesting to see what happens. Yeah, you know, a priestess. Maybe not so much for me. Oh yeah. By the way, 
If you see this looks anything like the World of Warcraft ramp with high walks, and how come in real life it doesn't make me freak out so much? Well, one reason is, in real life is, I have better control of my feet than I do in the game. Maybe that's the only reason I gotta do is I gotta stop running around in the game and uh, and just walk more instead of running. But in some cases, it doesn't make sense. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, my character is a priestess. And and no character I just created today is a mage. In classic. I was going to give her a priestess. I said, nah, three priestesses to keep track of. Uh, it looks like mage had a little more power than a priestess. But... They can't do healing spells, and they they can't hear confessions, and they can't resurrect the dead. At least, I don't think they can. And let's be honest, a priestess is pretty popular. Okay? She is going to be the one that does your extreme unction. She's the one who's going to do your confessions. Yes, they do, but Kayla does it. She does confessions. I'm sure in the real world of Warcraft, if it was a real place, it would be, she would be doing confessions. Except, I don't know if the, uh, if the uh, blood, night, blood elves are really we consider anything close to Christian. Uh, more like they have a pagan faith system that's more like uh, they worship the sun god. Originally, they worship the sun well. And then, uh, oh, that's another story. Well, we'll get to that some other time. Anyway, so the point is, is that, yeah. So. Bikela is a priestess, and Bashar is a priestess, Vanya is a warrior, and the newest character, which was generic or computer generated name because they kind of ran out of names. I can't remember what it is right now. It's kind of cute name though. She's a mage. So but do mages have more power than priestesses? Well, reading the descriptions, it sounds like the answer is a yes, they do. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, they do. Uh, I gotta defrost my hair. All right, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's quiet in here today. All right, so what am I set up now? And then we'll finish this. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, you can't really see me. All right, purpose says I can't see you. Because unfortunately, when you start recording, you can't change camera angles from point or rear or whatever. So anyway, the, uh, as you can see, the snow is pretty thick and heavy. I wanted to try to get a picture of the snow before the, uh, got dark. And, uh, are we going to play World of Warcraft today? Probably, but I'm going to say I was playing something already. And, um... Uh, I have to be honest, I'm not really sure if I really like being a mage. Um, because at least as a holy priestess, I do good things for people. Where mages are only in the pursuit of magic. They're not necessarily in the pursuit of being something I mean, that wants to help the people of Azeroth, which, that sounds stupid, I know, we'll just take it with a grain of salt, because that's exactly what it comes down to, um, but still, 
Um, it's it's a uh, it's too bad it's a path in real life I actually didn't take. I I really could have been a priestess um, if I didn't convert from I was originally raised as a Lutheran. If I didn't become a Roman Catholic, or if I stayed in the Protestant churches, I could have been a pastor. But let's be honest, pastors and priests are not exactly equal. Um, I'm not trying to pick in any particular religion because it's not the point. But one of the things that makes priests so wonderful is the fact that you can hear confessions and and you can absolve people of their sins and and you get and of course some pastors do get to do that too in some churches. But the standard rule of some is is that the priests um, are a little bit higher in, in the, the spiritual realms. Um, I don't know how to explain it better than that. I've got a feeling that some Protestants are going to be hopping mad at me. Sorry guys, look, you just have to accept what I'm saying, because at least it's my opinion. It may not necessarily reflect yours, but... And see, I guess you can call me a Reformed Catholic, because, I mean, they got Reformed Jews, right? So why don't they have Reformed Catholics? Um... The truth of the matter is, is that the priest to me is a very special role and it always will remain special in their heart. You remember its character in the world of Warcraft, it's still a special, a special holy priest. Then they have something called a shadow priest. I'm not a shadow priest. Um, when I got to the point where I could subdivide into the two classes, I decided to remain a holy priest, a holy priestess. And because I just like in the real world, I love helping people, and so yeah, I didn't want to become a shadow priest. So, um, unfortunately, it's the beginning of the game. Nobody actually really notices how much of a difference Battle for Azeroth has versus Classic. The some of the events look similar. Um, in some ways, some of the things are better, and some things are worse. First of all, you go into um, um, the um, Goldshire in in Modern WoW, and it looks like something out of ten out of the Star Wars Katina. You or you go in there, and it looks more like something out of the Guinness Ten Ford Lounge or Star Trek: The Next Generation or a Quark Spar on D Space Nine. You just got this strange mix of people coming in there of different races. And in Classic, the only race I really saw of being played by people was a Night Elf. And that was, well, it was pretty intimidating when I met a Night Elf who cloaks up in person. Um, because he was like towering over me, right? He was big, and he fortunately enough he was on our side. He was alliance, I was alliance. But obviously, if I was in the alliance, I would have been basically been very intimidated by his sheer size. Okay. Um, now, on the other hand, when you go into the gold chair now and battle for Azeroth, it's there's the music is different. Which is good. I'm glad the music a little. They did change up the music a bit. But honestly, I really don't know how to react to all those different races because there's so many of them and there's so many kinds of people in there. And, and um, so, yeah. So I think that, um, and it's also much more crowded, obviously, because obviously. Retail WoW is certainly play, more players in Retail WoW than Classic, even though there are players in Classic. It's just that um, most of them, I think, have moved out of the starting zones more into the other places. I haven't checked out the new Sturman yet. My my uh, my priest character Bashara um, was given a ride, and a guy in his. Flying, oh, flying craft. I don't know what you want to call it. A zeppelin? It wasn't like a zeppelin. It was like a, oh, whatever it was. It was noisy, big, and loud. And he offered her a free ride tour around Elwyn Forest. And she took it. And she got a chance to meet up with the guy. And he asked her how long she's been playing. And I told him the truth that I actually have three other characters I play 
in World of Warcraft, two in Classic and, and two in uh, Modern WoW. And, uh, and he asked me, so would you like to be my friend? I said, sure. So I took accepted his friend request. I didn't know how to do that at first. He told me how. I said, okay, thanks. Sure, I'll be a friend. But it still is got to be the most frustrating thing uh, for me when I see that now instead of attacking wolves or attacking war guns, I thought the war gun race was our, our allies. Why are that? Why are we attacking them instead of wolves? You should have just left them wolves because the war gun's are not going to like that. You know, why did you do that? Come on, Blizzard. It makes no sense. Everybody knows what a wolf is. Okay, I do like the I, I do like the assassins. I think they're fun. The assassins are an upgrade in some ways from the kibbles, kibbles. But honestly, um, I think <coughs> I do like the healing quest. I thought that was fun. I enjoyed that going out doing healing and you know using the power of pain to to smite my enemies, but honestly, I, I did like the healing quest. I liked that. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I know that Bikela, my other character, if the same offer was given to her in um, her home area there, um, Silver Moon would have taken the same offer to go ahead and go out there and heal people. I know she would have. I know my characters pretty well. They're, they're really much reflect me. Um, the one character that I tried out, you know, it does not match me at all, is Vanya. I am not a warrior in real life or in the game. I am not a warrior. I don't do hand to hand combat in real life. Uh, just as a, um, I'm more of a priestess or a mage. I'm actually in my life. That's what the Snow Queen is. She's like a mage. That's what she does. She's she does things from a distance. She doesn't go right in your face and you know throw a mace in your face. Okay, that's not her way. She's my my work is a North American Snow Queen. You know, the original Snow Queen was evil, by the way. Uh, I'm not evil, so that was one difference between me and that original Snow Queen through so the lore. Is I'm not an evil person, I'm a loving person. And um, that's something to remember about me. Now, as I said, the, um, the December 21st is going to be, we well, say it's Yule, but it's actually not. It's actually going to be on December 22nd this year. So what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to have our Saturday show like we do regularly. And then I'm going to tape the convocation. Uh, and then I will put it up as um, as a show on the North American Snow Queen channel. So that's where that's going to be. YouTube, um, Team YouTube, by the way, um, kind of misunderstood what I was talking about about the live streaming. They thought I was talking about live streaming and mobile. I said, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with mobile. I said, look at my original question. And they looked at it and said, oh, I'm sorry, our fault. We misunderstood. So we're going to have to see if we can make it possible to fix the issue with the live streaming and mobile. So we'll get that working. Or not live streaming on mobile, but live streaming from the computer. So I talked to Legal. Legal got back to me and he said, There's nothing we can do. That's not what we're for. I said, Well, I understand that. I sent him an email. I said, But I have tried to contact Team YouTube. They haven't gotten back to me yet. I have attempted to um, find anybody who can help me. I went through other frequently asked questions. I went through the help system. I went through everything, and no one can seem to help me. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I've covered this once before. So finally, like I said, Team YouTube did get back to me yesterday. So now they're going to have to reinvestigate now because at first it was because of mobile live streaming. I said, no, it had nothing to do with mobile live streaming. But 
let me bring up one thing to your attention that they did tell me that this could be a potential bad thing for some people who depend on mobile live streaming. If you go below a thousand people, your mobile live streaming access stops. So, if you are, say, at a thousand and one, and you got live streaming, and some reason two people unsub, you're at 999, your live streaming server stops. Not right away. But it stops until you get back to a thousand again, and I think that's I think that's kind of a shame and it's kind of a pity. The fact is that if you manage to get live streaming in the first place, there should be a lot of these kept. Even if you want to go back down to four hundred people, I mean that's a pretty big drop. But I mean it could happen. I mean look what happened to my channels. You know it's it's we went. We went from doing live shows to doing these live streams to playing games to doing vlogs and becasts. My user base is really static, but it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all. And it's affecting me and it's affecting my channel a lot. But, oh well. Alright guys, look, it's time for me to go get some mana. <laughs> it's my character. It's my character, Carolina says, or Kalisha says something. I need mana, I need mana, I need mana. She totally shoots out all her energy bolts, and then she says, I need mana. And at the same time, my stomach growls. Growl! I need mana! <laughs> yeah, I gotta eat too. So I gave her some hard bread in the game, and I said, "Well, I better have to go with better than hard bread." So that's why I'm here. All right, guys. Um, talk to you in a little bit. See you later. Hey, bye.